welcome back to Lady Marie's Life. I found at Marshall's an interesting coffee I've been really wanting to try. <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. So it is, I think it's either Joffrey's, I think I want to say, Joffrey's coffee. Banana bon Bonza. Banana. <laughs> this one is banana bonus. Give it a do! <laughs> This one is. This, this, this one is coffee. Drink it. This one is the banana bonanza blend, and it is brown sugar and banana. I got this at Marshalls for seven ninety nine. Now this is your first time here. We'll just say little tidbit. I don't like paying this much for coffee. I like the, my three dollar little coffee bricks so we're gonna crack it open throw it in the keurig and we're gonna see will this pass the lady marie's coffee test there's a cat behind you there's a cat behind me there behind you bobbins all right so let's open this okay here we go whoa you can just smell the banana it smells I can smell banana. from here. This day is bananas. B A N A N A S. This day is bananas. B A N A. I don't have a headache. I'm just preparing. Banana, but no brown sugar. That banana is strong, but it doesn't have that horrible alcohol like smell. It's pretty strong. I wouldn't put it like this is amazing. It smells good when it's through the the package, but then once you open it, it's like BAM! Right in your face! You're bejeweled. <laughs> My bejeweled since last time we've upgraded it. I like to take the coffee and try and weigh it because each standard pod I have tested out is between 10 and 12 grams. I have a remedy for spillage and I'll show you guys. One of the best presents the mister ever gave me. All right, I think this might be a 12. Let's see, here we go. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna tap it down, fold it, push down. And you gotta be a little like forceful with it to make sure it clicks since you are putting the liner in. Pop that in. And according to the directions, two tablespoons for every six ounces. I like it strong, and we're gonna do six. I didn't pull it out. I gotta get that half and half. Okay, so as promised, I have a little vacuum. Pick up the crumbos. I gotta wash it, it's all dirty. Boo. The smell is definitely banana and it is it is an artificial smell I was really hoping it wouldn't be so artificial wow it actually tastes like you're having like a bananas foster do you want to try it okay it tastes very banana like right <laughs> he said, this is him. That's gross. Okay. Don't well, drink that. Oh, I know how people drink coffee <laughs> like that. He's so funny behind the camera. So without cream and sugar, I'm going to give this a three. It's, it does have a weird little aftertaste, but it's still good. All right. Now with the half and half. All right. Let's see. We'll just do one. Since I did six, I tend to drink eight to ten ounce coffee cups at a time, not for six. Oh yeah, now we're at a four. I'm finding that even though I absolutely love coffee without cream or sugar, these kind of like blends, it needs cream at least. I like this. Try one more time with the cream. So I'm going to a four with that. It's not as bitter. What do you think? Oh. It's gross. All right, so let's put it to oh. How do you drink that? Like, I what like in, it. what enjoyment comes from from putting that in your mouth and ugh? Putting what? Coffee? Yeah, it's gross. Please look. 
please, please, please. How many cups have you had this morning? None. Plus? Five, but yours is better. You have a problem. Yes, I do. Junkie. Angel, you've got wings, baby. Well, would you ever try like a regular cup of coffee? This doesn't stack up to what I normally buy. I don't normally buy That's nasty. coffees like that. Okay, so we're gonna do one teaspoon of coffee, or one teaspoon of sugar. And with sugar, oh, let's go with sugar. Thing needs like 10 yeah. sugars. Just put a lot of stuff in there so you can't taste it. How am I gonna fit my three sugars into Barbie's Malibu dream cup here? It'll be all sugar and no coffee. You might prefer it that way. Oh, man. No, it doesn't. I'm at a four again. It's still good. Four Joffrey's banana bonanza? Banana bonanza. Without cream and sugar, we're at a three. With cream and with sugar, both at fours. I would definitely buy this. I would recommend it if you like coffee, unlike some people in this household. Oof. How much would you pay for that if you were at a Disney resort? Well, I think this is found in the in the rooms. Hold on, let me look. Our dedication to quality is one of the reasons Joffrey's has been designated the official specialty coffee for Walt Disney World. Resort, Disneyland Resort, and Disney Vacation Club. I think there is a Joffrey's on site, but I think they put them in the rooms. I would get this as a as an iced coffee. That would be really good with some whipped cream on it. I like it. This actually is a good buy for me. Pour this in, so then I can enjoy this. Oh, so I can pour this and enjoy this. Oh yeah. I am gonna try and make a cold brew with this and see how that goes. Okay, we're back and you saw we put it together that's typically how I brew it pour it and drink it does it taste good so the banana taste definitely is coming through it's pretty strong but I think what I like about this coffee is that it is a break from the regular coffee kind of like taste and I don't have to go out and buy flavored creamers, um, put a ton of sugar into it. I mean, you saw that I put a little bit in, like a teaspoon amount of sugar. But that kind of just helps with the, the flavor, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to be in the middle. I'm between a three and a four with this. Let's just say three and a half. It's a nice break with flavoring. I would definitely make this in smaller batches as opposed to what I do in a larger batch for my cold brews. Um, and it would be really good with some whipped topping, a little bit of caramel drizzle, not a lot. But I think that this would be a definitely a fun 
drink and if you're trying to cut back on calories and you still enjoy this but you like those um, flavored creamers which majority of them have oil in it I don't know if you've ever noticed that I personally don't like it if you enjoy it cool you know I'm not here to uh, destroy anyone I don't know but yeah um yeah three and a half I think I'm going back to Marshall's and I might if I can find it get the Joffrey's just regular coffee Disney one um, just to kind of see how that stacks up I think we're going back to Marshall's and maybe I have enough points through my fetch app to get a discount let's get back to the video we tried the Joffrey's Banana Bonanza Disney approved coffee. Found at Marshall's for $7.99. I definitely approve of this. Head over, grab it if you can find it. I would definitely say cream and sugar is needed. If you like coffee, if you like snacks, if you like different things, hit the subscribe button, thumbs, all the business, comments, whatever, and we will see you next time at the brewer. At the what? The brewer. I thought you said at the brewer. Brewer. <laughs> at the brewer. We will see you at the coffee pot. Puppets. Hey. What's up, cat? Mm -mm -mm. Hey, buddy. And you. Skivas. Any words? Any words for your mama's channel? No words. No words, Rubus. She's had a little words. Give me some words.